Alrighty then. Hope you watched the video before this so you'll uh, kind of get an idea of what uh, we're doing here. Uh, and I won't be long, but in the comment section or in the notes section below this uh, video, you'll see a text of a lesson. It's a front and back, one sheet of paper is all it is. It's just down there. And then there's also the text of the Bible, uh, chapter 1 of John. Um, and uh, there's also a file there where you can, um, you know, print it out or print it out if you'd rather. Uh, and I'd like to encourage you to uh, open the open the get in the instructions. It says read through the chapter first, go through the little questions, fill out the uh, fill in the blanks. If you have a question of any sort or anything like this, you're welcome to make a comment below, or you're welcome to email me if you would rather. Uh, either way is fine with me. Um, and I'd like to encourage you to think about one thing when you come to the Bible. Uh, the biggest rule to remember is that the Bible is the final authority. A lot of times we'll come to it and it will, uh, you know, say something different than what we had perceived in the past. Uh, well, what we have to do is kick out our perceptions in the past, our preconceived ideas, and uh, let the Bible be what's right. And uh, let, as the Bible says, let God be true and every man a liar is what the scripture says. God's always going to be right and his word's always going to be right. Uh, I, when I first started reading the Bible back in 1988, I'm kind of glad I had no church background. I'd never read it before. So I came at it with fresh eyes and was able to uh, not have any things that drew me aside because of what I'd always thought. I didn't have many thoughts about God or the Bible. Uh, you get into that book and you'll find that it has everything inside of there. Uh, I was going to give you a little analogy. I am a holster maker, so naturally I like to shoot guns. My wife and I have both taken classes as far as shooting and things, and I will never forget the instructor telling me that a woman is easier to teach than a man. A woman is easier to teach than a man how to shoot a gun. He said the reason is because the woman typically is not as much of a gun person as the man, or if they've never shot even better, and they have no preconceived notions, so they take what the instructor says and they put it to practice. The man comes along and he already knows how to shoot the gun, so he kind of bucks the instructions that he gets along the way, and then he's got a bigger problem, and that is the fact that we have an ego, and we don't want to think that what we thought was right was really wrong. When you come to the Word of God, let it be right. I'll see you in John chapter 2.